So when I push this last button, a trap door will open and you'll be free to. Oh, for sake. Hey guys, thank you for 750 subscribers and 30,000 video views. Now, I have something a little bit different than usual today. I actually have a logic creation. And before you guys are like, whoa, Zombie can do logic. Wait, what? Mind explodes. Um, well, the, the complicated part in this is actually timing, uh, which is still cool, um, but it's not actually technically logic logic. It's a timing based AND gate. Um, it's it's still kind of cool though. This is a combination lock. The password is zero seven five and zero for obvious reasons. Um, and then this trap door will activate. And if you want a link to this trap door, it'll be in the description below. It's a seamless flush sort of two by two thing there. Uh, but this combination lock, uh, the more important part of this video, uh, has a couple of cool things going for it. One, it's lever programmable. Um, that's usually useful if you want to have an external programming thing, I guess. Uh, but this, you can't really actually do that on this one since it's packed so tightly in here. So the only other reason that you might want this is it's easier to program uh, than, like, let's say 90% of all the other combination locks where you have to, like, place torches and break blocks and stuff. So basically, you have to tear out this entire programming part of the combination lock and then place it back together again. This one, you just, you know, you flick a lever there and then you flick another one and voila, uh, the number two is now the first digit of your combination lock instead of zero. Now, um, it, it was actually a pretty good challenge to do this lever thing, though it does make it quite a bit bigger. In fact, one taller than it needs to be. But anyways, uh, what happens here is this is a timing part I was talking about earlier. When you push any number, It'll activate this monostable, and then uh, it'll turn off this dust. And if the dust does turn off, then it'll reset everything. However, if you do hit the right number, it'll turn on, um, well, not turn on, but activate this RS Norlatch. And that'll turn on this monostable, which will send a pulse. And that's timed with this monostable up here. So basically, if you enter the right number, this monostable will activate, and then this dust will never turn off at all. Um, but if you hit the wrong number, none of these monostables will activate and then this dust will turn off and that'll reset the entire system. Now, um, a couple of cool features it has is that it's self-resetting. So if you hit any number that's incorrect, then it'll reset just like that. All the dust turned off and stuff. Um, uh, you, if you're to hit any number out of sequence, for example, 7, uh, which is in the sequence, but it's second, not first. As you see, nothing has happened. Uh, same thing if I were to hit 5. Um, but as you guys also saw, it can also have no, uh, multiple of the same digit. So, for example, I have 0 here. Uh, 0 is the first digit and the last digit of the sequence. So when I push it, it will not falsely activate the output or anything. Um, it'll just uh, turn off again and it'll keep this first digit activated. Um, and then I could just go about my business, enter in the 7. And then second will activate and let's say I hit 0 now. Um, it still won't do anything, it'll just reset the system. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that there's smaller combination locks out there. I'm not really sure of any links. All the ones I looked at were bigger, um, surprisingly. But if you guys do know of a smaller design that, it doesn't matter if it's lever programmable or not, um, send a link, and I will link that in the description below, because I know not all of you want to build... Um, a huge thing like this if you just intend on having one combination forever and never ever ever changing it despite the security risks of other people knowing your password and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to tear out this whole front bit over here so we can get started with the tutorial and also so you can see the actual size of this creation without the gobbledygook here. So see you guys in a little bit. So here it is without all the stuff in the front. Um, as you see, it, it's pretty small. I, I sort of guess it's huge, but small at the same time. Uh, this bottom part makes it uh, quite a bit larger. I'm not even sure what the dimensions are, um, but all the logic is really contained in this area over here. And to get an output, all you really new, need to the nude. All you really need to do is place a block there and then a repeater there. And um, that's how you can do your powering stuff, I guess, uh, just connected to that repeater. Now, to actually do this thing, you're going to need quite a bit of materials. Let me just grab that there 
and then a hopper and come to this side now there are multiple ways to speed this up I'm gonna be showing you guys one of them at the end of the video uh, after we built it and basically what that'll do is just place the monostable on the end um, after this dropper monostable will shorten the pulse so basically you can enter in digits as fast as you can push them and it'll just make the thing insane fast however it will make it slightly bigger by like one layer um, so if you're anal about that then you really should not do it but anyways uh, to start things off I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a four button thing I guess one two three four cut that off and then um, cut this off as well that was just a spacer now uh, you're gonna want to have dropper mono stables under each and every one of them one two three four Just like that and you could load them with anything that you want your dirt your cobblestone your whatever your diamond leggings I guess uh, More quartz I guess and more quartz and then um, this is also really easily expandable all of it is entirely modular um, though after 15 you will need a little repeater there to extend the signal, but it will still work perfectly um, perfect, perfect, blah, 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 perfectly fine and you can expand it infinitely that way as well without any issues I've expanded it to I think like 30 digits and it still worked uh, pretty fine now over here you're gonna want to have uh, repeaters not comparators repeaters I'm gonna have a four digit combination lock like a pin I guess uh, that's what most people do so uh, one two three and then this is number four uh, so four little ridgy bumps like that and then uh, repeaters on everything to power everything then you could have torches there torches there torches there and then you need torches there and then this is the programming part you're gonna want to have blocks on every single one of them actually I'm gonna get my lever out right now so blocks and everything and then you're gonna want to have torches facing backwards uh, so just like that just like here and then just like here like that dust on top of these blocks on top of these torches now to um, place these levers what you're gonna want to do is uh, turn them on by default like that and um, whatever number you you do want you're gonna want to just turn it off uh, I'll set that later though uh, so right now just place all your levers and then flick them on and what this will do is prevent the things from uh, the correct answers quote unquote correct answers from turning on until you actually uh, do want them to be on for example if if I were to just have these off if I were to push any button it'll just turn it on and it'll just be completely insecure because um, it wouldn't have any combination set but anyways uh, dust on here like I was saying earlier and then you're gonna want to have uh, torches on these sides of the blocks right there and that'll just give us a signal up here to deal with and then torches there to invert it once again and we're gonna need a slab so we don't bud these droppers accidentally down there and then dust there and like I said I will be teaching you guys how to make this uh, faster by moving this part that I'm building right now to the back and right now just you're gonna want to have a little thing like that a monostable and then a torch now I'm gonna be building the blah, 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 the RS nor latches right now this is a pretty long video um, and I'm pretty tired this is actually like my fifth recording of this um, so yeah uh, a little bit tired not really sure what I'm doing anymore or talking about but yeah uh, have torches there for the RS nor latches and then repeaters there to finish them off and that'll just power the back of these um, through the dust again and then down here you're gonna want to just have uh, your monostable piston get myself some redstone blocks you're gonna need one two three and then four and then this dust over here will just get an output from that torch so it only sends a one tick pulse um, aka monostable um, or one tick monostable but that just makes it so it isn't constantly up now over here you're gonna wanna have um, repeaters uh, just alternating like that and this will just get a signal over here and uh, that actually needs to be a half slab so we could have dust underneath this guy uh, like that so we don't need to have an extra repeater there or anything a repeater there though and then another repeater there and one last repeater there and that'll just um, uh, synchronize with that one so it's still in time because if this were all dust it would be way out of time um, this first one would be in time but everything uh, before that will be out of time since the extra delay of these repeaters up here now on this side you're gonna wanna have a repeater there and a repeater there I do believe 
that you can have um, just dust there, but you will run into bucket issues if you don't have repeaters there. And then over here, you're going to want a repeater there, and then a torch, and then a repeater on three, and then that, and then that, and then that. And you're going to want to redirect this dust so it doesn't power um, that repeater over there. So to do that, I'm just going to grab myself a tripwire hook. Um, those are some of the best things to redirect stuff. I guess you could use like a wooden button or something. Um, and then you're going to want to have uh, just stuff like that. I'm just going to keep it modular. You don't actually, you only really need one in a four pin design. Um, but it does ensure that you uh, keep the design the same. Now, what is that? There we go. Uh, had to update it now to finish off this little logic circuit over here. You're going to want to have blocks on every single one of these and then a repeater on four and that'll just make sure that you will not be able to enter in the combination out of sequence for example I'm gonna set the combination of one two three and then four um, but what I just did there with the repeaters prevents me from doing like four three two one or whatever um, right now I do believe this is actually working so to get an output like I said earlier you just get a repeater there and then I'm just gonna have a little dust thing there to light everything up uh, I'll, I'll extend that piston for an indicator so let me push one works fine two works fine three works fine and then four and there we go and uh, to reset any uh, to, to reset the system you just push any button at all and it'll send the reset through and as you see everything just turned off so uh, if you guys just wanted that uh, quick tutorial then I gave you permission to leave now um, but if you want to make it faster, what you're going to want to do is entirely break uh, this. I mean, you don't need to break it all, um, though it does make things um, less resource, uh, blah, resource heavy, I guess. You can reuse these resources for later or something. Uh, you could get rid of that and get rid of these torches as well. And in fact, you're going to also want to have these buttons underneath or just anywhere that's not uh, above the droppers because if you do push them really fast it will bud the droppers and it will like break it so you don't want to bud it so put it on the bottom and uh, note that that won't happen on this one because you aren't pushing them too quickly uh, you will have to wait for the buttons to pop out for each thing though um, but that's why I'm showing you guys how to do this one so you can input it as fast as you can so you're gonna want to have dust over here and that'll just get an output from every single one of those and that'll just go into um, uh, the thingy here on two. And that'll just go into a torch there on uh, dust, I guess. Um, and that just does the exact same thing we did over here. Except as you see, it's a whole lot resource intensive. Uh, a lot less repeaters, but it's also a lot faster. So I can input these as fast as I want now. One, two, three, four. And as you see, it still works. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye.